Let's say you've been asked to make a hole, a drawing of a hole, in an isometric drawing. That hole is represented by a circle, and here is an example of something we need to make. All right, so how do we do that? So if this is a hole in a view that was looked uh, directly at, then this would be a perfect way to do a hole. And you can see that that hole, you could put a square around that hole, and the, um, the 90 degree, there would be points 90 degrees apart from each other that would touch that square. The center of the circle would be the center of the square. All right, so, but in an isometric drawing, which has 30 degree lines, for instance, and vertical lines, that hole no longer looks like that, but looks more like an ellipse, where again, um, the circle or the ellipse is in a power uh, in, a, uh, trap, in a parabola, excuse me, in a parallelogram, and again the edges of the circle are at um, 90 degrees apart from each other on the parallelogram. All right, so let's see how do you do that. So first, uh, let's say you've decided that this is the center of the circle, and you have figured out the dimensions of the circle, and let's say if every square is one quarter of an inch on this isometric paper, that I'm going to now make lines for a parallelogram that are 0.5 inches away. Sorry, did I say the diameter? The radius is 0.5 inches, or the diameter is one inch. So I'm going to make a square that's one inch on each side for four boxes. Okay, so this is, I'm trying to make this center, the center of a parallelogram. I've gone 0.5 inches in that direction, 0.5 inches in that direction. Then I'm going to go 0.5 inches down and 0.5 inches up. So now this parallelogram is or rhombus, is one in a, inch on each side. Okay, now I'm going to put my circle within that. But again, I'm going to mark points on the parallelogram that where the circle will intersect with the parallelogram, or rhombus. And now the hardest part is connecting these such that you form an ellipse. And this is how you draw circles represented by ellipses in isometric drawings. First draw the parallelogram with the center there, 90 degree points on that circle, intersecting with the parallelogram and then connecting those dots. Thank you for listening.